can unplug this and get rid of this because we can now wirelessly connect our Cardo to our Ace Pro and Moto Vlog that way. No other mics necessary. I'm gonna show you how to do it. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to pair both of these together and we'll also take a look at some comparisons between the DJI mic, which is this, Purple Panda mic, and the Cardo mic at low and high speeds. And before we move on, this video is sponsored by Insta360. If you would like to purchase yourself an Ace Pro, then do so via the link in my description below and you will receive a free battery valued at 65 Australian dollars. That way you can just go for mad long rides, have the Sperry, switch them over and you're good to go. I also receive a small kickback from every purchase made at no extra cost to you and it helps the channel, helps me, helps life move on. Get a free battery. All right, let's get connected. First, this works with selected models only. In this demonstration, I'm gonna be using the Cardo Talk Edge and this will work with both the Ace and Ace Pro action cameras. First step is to make sure that your firmware is up to date on both devices. All you need to do is connect your devices up to the app via your phone and it'll prompt you automatically if you need to update your firmware. If it doesn't, you're all good to go. Then next on your Cardo device, you wanna turn it on, then you wanna press and hold down your little phone icon for five seconds. You will know when you've entered Bluetooth pairing mode because your Cardo will be flashing blue and red. Don't worry, the cops aren't after you yet. Then on your Ace, Ace Pro, you wanna swipe down on the menu and you wanna swipe across to the little headphones icon. Tap on that, Bluetooth will fire up, you'll see your device pop up, connect to it, and that's it. You'll see in the top right hand corner of the screen, the little headphones icon. That means your Cardo is connected and it's talking to each other. This is how it sounds with the Purple Panda mic. Now the Purple Panda mic is just a lav mic. I've been using them for years. I stick it on the inside of my cheek pad in my helmet and hope for the best really. Sometimes it's hit and miss. You gotta position it right in your helmet, find that little sweet spot and you can get some pretty good clear audio. That's enough to capture some ambient air noise and your pipes a little bit there as well. And this is the DJI mic. So I have the mic just positioned right in front of my mouth inside the helmet. I don't have the receiver plugged into the Ace Pro, so right now I'll have to sync this up later in post. It's probably my preferred way to capture audio, only because I have the two, so I can put one in the back, have one in the helmet, set it to stereo, and then I can record both the pipe sound and my voice, and then later choose which I prefer to have later in post, more pipes or voice, or both. Now this is the audio from the Cardo. So now Cardo pride themselves on cutting wind noise as much as they can because obviously we want to make calls and we want the person on the receiving end to be able to hear our voice as clear as possible with as less wind noise as possible. So the microphone does engage as soon as you start talking. So there are those little gaps of no sound whatsoever. Just like that one. When you're riding at faster speeds, it's going to cut out most of the wind noise. You probably can't even tell that there is any. And this is how it sounds with the DJI mic. You would have a lot of wind noise. Probably hit my pipe a little bit. And this is how it sounds with the Purple Panda mic, which in my opinion is the worst out of all of them. But like I said, you can position it into a sweet spot. Mine just keeps on changing for some reason. A couple of things to take note. They do pair automatically when you turn both of them on. They link up, it's all good but it does take a little bit of time. It doesn't do it instantaneously. Now for this, I'm usually a quick capture sort of guy. I hit the shutter button, the camera turns on, it starts rolling, I hit it again, it stops recording and it turns off. Using quick capture with the Cardo doesn't connect quick enough, so you're gonna miss out on the audio. So you will need to power on your Ace Pro, check the top right hand corner and make sure you get the little headphone icon, then you're good to go. Now the Ace Pro does make it easy to quickly just pop off the action camera, off the mount, have a look, make sure you've got the little icon there and then just pop the action camera back on and then go for your ride. Now the Talk Edge has two Bluetooth channels. So you should be able to connect your phone and the Ace Pro up simultaneously. For some reason, it wouldn't work for me. Maybe it's a glitch on my end. Maybe it's another firmware update that's gonna be coming out soon. But see how you go and let me know in the comments if it worked or not. Now, in my opinion, the audio quality isn't the best, so I personally won't be using the Cardo connected to the Ace Pro all the time for my Moto vlogging. If you're thinking of doing the Moto vlog thing, but you don't really want to invest in any microphones and you have this setup already, then you can go out and start practicing, get comfortable talking while you're riding. And also, you can now give it voice commands even if it's not within earshot. 
how good is that? Because you're pretty much talking directly to the Ace Pro via the microphone of your Cardo in your helmet. So give it a shot. Let me know how you go. Let me know especially how you go with connecting your phone and your Ace Pro to your Cardo and if it works or not. Thank you so much Insta360 for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for watching it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Can you record a whole group of riders using the Ace Pro and capture the whole conversation? The answer is, I have no idea. I wanted to test this out, but I've lost my second Cardo unit since moving here a couple of weeks ago. I know it's here. I've just done one of those things where I've hidden it on myself as a challenge, you know? And also I've been riding solo. I haven't joined any groups yet. I haven't made any friends yet. I've been busy, so I've been lone wolfing it. When I do find out this information, I'll put it in the description below. See you.